do you practice exercises in your classes to um, to optimize potential in business or corporate environment? Absolutely. And how do they work? It's sort of like a martial art. Mm -hmm. The more you practice, the more you get familiar with the procedures and developing choices, optimizing, improving who you are, the better it becomes, um, the behavior becomes natural, normal. It's second nature. But how can these exercises optimize the skills or abilities you just mentioned? Do you think a boxer stops before they throw a punch? You probably get smacked upside the head. Baseball player is going to stand there and say, hmm, what should I throw today? Maybe you need all. <laughs> I don't think so. Probably not. And a politician, the ones who are really good, they have learned and have a whole skill set and a whole base to do what it is they do so well. So what you're saying is that politicians or entrepreneurs or comedians have practiced so often that they've become politically adept or able to perform physically um, to master their craft. Absolutely. Talent is certainly an element of it. If you don't have the grain, the initial piece, it's really hard to build on. Um, and talent in and of itself is useless unless you practice it and develop it and make it better. Optimize it. So if you have the talent for doing something that's not a good habit or like a bad habit, would that be able to be optimized through your exercises? If that's what you choose to do, yes. What about the talent of being funny? <laughs> do you think that it would be possible to use these exercises? If that's something you're good at and you already the germ is already there and it's something you want to develop, absolutely. Anything that's there and needs to be nurtured can be nurtured.